there's nothing really original about engraving a skateboard. Skateboards have been laser cut before. I just thought it would be cool to document the process of how it's done. Before applying the idea to the board, I decided to stop skating it. I could have carried on skating it as it is, there was nothing wrong with it, but I just wanted to make sure that the surface area was usable. For the first part of this idea, I went to see my cousin, James Cooper, who's a self-employed sign painter and runs his own company called Dapper Signs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> James has already over five years of experience with sign painting, and I just preferred that this was painted by hand than just from a downloaded font. The source of the idea came from when I was browsing through a load of blog feeds and a phrase from Jake Phelps, the editor for Thrasher magazine, came up saying skateboarding is the sound of living. And I just thought that phrase was so rad that something had to be done with it. Once the phrase had been painted, the second step was to take it to a guy called Neil Ferguson, who's self-employed and runs his own company called Bristol Design Forge, which specialises in laser cutting. I'd already seen some of the products that Neil had kicked out for his clients, and I just figured that he was a suitable candidate to engrave the board. Some people may argue that it may have been a better idea for James just to paint straight onto the board but I prefer to just have James's painting skills purely embodied into the structure of the board rather than just on the surface. I wanted it to just be a, I wanted it to be fully part of it. Lasering the surface of the board was a little tricky because of the concave. So we had to raise and lower the platform depending upon where the head of the laser was on the board. The laser head had to stay at a consistent distance from the surface of the board, otherwise it wouldn't penetrate the graphic or ply, or it would just burn. pretty stoked on the outcome of the finished board to come out exactly how I wanted it. Some have said to me it's a little difficult to read the lettering because of all the scratches on the surface of the board, but I think that kind of I think that kind of adds character to the to the board and the fact that it's actually been skated and it's seen skateboarding and then it's just had this embellished phrase painted and then engraved onto the surface. I think that's a good way for a board to end its life really, if you ask me, without sounding too corny. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>